Hello Bond Bakers and welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and if you're new here I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today we're going to be making an Aussie classic, we are going to be making cheese and veggie mite scrolls or cheesy mite scrolls as we like to call it. These are great for lunch boxes, they're a really nice snack and they're a great breakfast treat as well. So let's get to it! Cheese and Vegemite scrolls are really easy to make. There's only a few ingredients and the flavors of the cheese and the Vegemite just work so well together. It's just a match made in heaven. So if you don't have Vegemite available to you, some of the other ones that you can choose are Marmite or Promite. They work just as well and act like Vegemite would. In Australia, we put Vegemite in so many different things. We have it with avocado on toast, I put it in bolognese, but this one is one that works together all the time. And a lot of people love the combo of the cheese and the Vegemite because the Vegemite has that real kind of salty flavor. And then when you pair it with the cheese, it just gives it that really nice, sharp, tasty flavor come through. And together, it's just like a pack full of punch made of deliciousness, if that even makes sense. That definitely doesn't make sense, but we're gonna leave it anyway because you know what I mean. You're getting my vibe, it's delicious, and you're gonna wanna make it. You know the deal, come and check out what you are gonna need. So to start with, we have some puff pastry, and I'm just gonna do one sheet today, but if you've got more to make, then you just double this recipe. I've got some melted butter over here. I've got some Vegemite, some tasty cheese, a bit of egg wash, and over here, I've got some poppy seeds and some sesame seeds, and these are optional. We're just gonna sprinkle them on top and they're gonna look beautiful. Now turn on your oven to a moderate temperature, so 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then find yourself a baking tray, line it with some parchment paper, and we're gonna get straight into it. So I've just got my melted butter here and pastry bus brush or a basting brush, and I'm just going to lightly coat the pastry here. give it that extra flavor. Now it's time for the Vegemite and I'm going to just give it a little bit of a mix here, try and get it nice and easy to paste on. And you can either do it with the back of a spoon, that might be easy for you as well, or you can do it with both. So see how this goes. Now with the Vegemite, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to melt in together, but I like to give it a decent amount. And with the Vegemite as well, it really just depends. If you're a Vegemite fiend and love Vegemite sick, then you can put on extra Vegemite. And if you don't like it that much, or if you've got visitors from overseas who are just introducing to Vegemite, probably just go a bit easy on it. Let me know in the comments how thick you put your Vegemite or Marmite on your toast because I like mine quite thin, but I've seen people who literally paste it on. All right, that looks pretty good. So most of our pastry here has the Vegemite on it. So we're ready to add our cheese. And the cheese you can just sprinkle on. Okay, so I've just sprinkled my cheese on here and I've left about a centimeter at the top because we're gonna roll it up and it's gonna get all full. So try and leave a little bit at the top spare. And if you like scroll type recipes, I also have another one up on my channel. Um, it's just ham and cheese scrolls, absolutely delicious. And I'll leave the description or the link rather in the description box below for you and up here as well. It's time to roll. So we're just gonna get the end of this. Get it off the plastic and roll it up. Try and keep it tight if you can. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna use this plastic as well just so it doesn't stick to my breadboard here. So now with our egg wash, we're just gonna grab a bit of that and base the top here where it connects. We're gonna end up basting all of it, but just to make sure 
that stays nice and tight. You can even go under it if you want, if you're worried about it like that. But he looks pretty sticky. I think we're good. So just focus on this roll line here. Now grab yourself a sharp knife and we're just gonna cut off the ends here because they're not full and we want them to be nice and even anyway. So just get rid of those ends. It's just excess pastry at this point. And then we're gonna chop them into little bite-sized pieces. So straight down. Go and do the other side. Perfect. Now, with these, we're gonna pop them on our tray. Before you do that, you can also just baste it again with a little bit more egg wash. Prop them up. And looking nice and full. Give them another coating. I'm going to go around the sides and on the top as well. Before they go into the oven, I'm going to give them a sprinkle with these poppy seeds and sesame seeds. It's going to make it look super cute. This is just for presentation. Completely optional. How easy. Now into the oven they go and they're going to bake until that pastry here is beautifully puffed and golden and ready to eat. So I think it'll probably take around 15 to 20 minutes, but it just depends on your oven. So monitor yours as you go, but check it around the 15 minute mark. While we're waiting, it's the perfect time for an inspirational quote. And I love to do this because it sends out the positive vibes your way and hopefully will inspire you in some sort of way. The quote that I found for you today is, 52 weeks unwritten, 12 months to be lived on purpose, 365 sunrises to start over. I really love that quote. It's a beautiful one and very timely because it's the start of a new year here. So it really does get me thinking about how I'm gonna spend my time and I hope that it does for you too. Make the most of it and spend your time well. Woohoo, check it out. These have just come out of the oven. They look beautiful and brown. Oh, they look so nice. They're oozing with cheese, they're nice and hot, and it's time to eat these bad boys. Let's just take a second to appreciate them first. Come and have a look. Check out this oozing cheese. And look how cute they are at the bottom too. A perfect little scroll. I was just about to eat it, but I think that the oozing cheese is just gonna be a little bit too hot, so just give it five minutes to let it cool slightly. They're not far off. I've just plated them up and they look absolutely delicious. They've cooled a little bit too, so it's time to eat one and I've chosen the one, the cheese oozing out. How good. And the pastry looks nice and flaky too. Oh, these are incredible. The pastry is so flaky and it's got the bits of cheese oozing throughout it and then pair it with the Vegemite. It really does, does pack a punch full of flavor. It's so tasty, so delicious. The family is gonna love them and love you for making them. I'm gonna finish off my cheesy mite scroll here, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I really do hope that you love this recipe and get to make it really soon because it really is such a delicious treat. If you do like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well because I have a new video coming out every single week. And if there are any videos or recipes that you wanna learn how to make, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much and I'll see you again next week. Bye. We're happy little veggie mite as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our veggie mite for breakfast, lunch and tea. Our mommy says we're growing stronger every single week because we love our veggie mite. We all adore our veggie mite. It puts a rose in every cheek. If you haven't heard that song before, I didn't just make it up. It's actually a really famous song and it's been around for decades and it's about our beloved veggie mite. Thanks veggie mite. Thank you.